What's up, guys? Wow! <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. You know the drill by now. We are going to be talking about eight celebrities' car collection. Today, we're going to be focusing on The Rock. However, if there's anyone that you want us to talk about, all you have to do, comment their name down below. We read through all the comments and we take the name that pops up the most for the next video. Also, while we're at it, 73% of you are still not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, three seconds of silence so that you can just click that button, which is right down there. Right, let's talk about The Rock. The Rock's had many lines of work over the years, but what is sure is that everything he's done has basically worked massively, bringing him to having a net worth today of well over $200 million. One of the most well-paid actors currently in Hollywood, and he's making a lot of movies. That's all well and good. However, what's of interest to us is his car collection. Now, you guys were so many to comment that you wanted us to film about The Rock in the last video, and actually, it's been quite interesting looking into his car collection, as you'll see. We're gonna be talking about LaFerrari, Pagani Juaria, McLaren, Rolls Royce, the tasty stuff. Obviously, for those people wondering, no, he is not my twin brother. I know we are like the spitting image of one another. Same person physically. I guarantee you we are not related. No, it's hard to believe. We need to come up with some better jokes, man. <laughs> What's been really interesting is there are so many photos of The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, in various different cars. However, they're not always his. But we're going to start with his favorite car. His most trusty car, the one he uses the most, a Ford F-150 Raptor custom build. He had the car modified get it raised. It's, it's a total beast. And this is the car that he drives every single day. It was custom built for him. Obviously, he's, you know, he's a tall guy. One meter 96. What's that in feet? Many feet. A lot of feet. And weighs 118 kilos, apparently. I weigh 55. <laughs> There are, there are more, there are two, more than two of me's in one rock. The guy's a beast. And that's going to be a recurring kind of issue throughout this video, you'll see. So the car he uses the most, drives that around, the car he's photographed in the most, is the F-150 pickup truck. Perfect car for him, loads of space, can kind of get away with not getting recognized everywhere because there are quite a few of those in the States. He lives obviously out in Los Angeles, as most of these Hollywood guys do. However, that is not the only pickup truck he's got. That's kind of his more daily. He has an even more hardcore version of that, tuned by by Hennessy, the Velociraptor. I mean, first of all, is that not the coolest car name you've ever heard? Imagine just being like coming out of dinner and uh, going up to like a valet or something being like, excuse me, do you mind getting the keys for my Velociraptor? I mean, what? Anyways, it's a V8. It's got 658 horsepower, total beast, completely modified. So rather than having the V6 EcoBoost engine that he has in his other F-150, He's got the proper big boy V8 here. Didn't actually buy this car. This was a gift from the producers, I believe, of Ballers to celebrate the show. They gave him a six-wheeled modified Hennessy Velociraptor. <laughs> I mean, damn, the guy's already probably, I assume, getting paid a fair amount for doing it. And then just, here you go, have a monster truck. Very cool. What lovely people. He's got good friends. Then reportedly, The Rock also owns a white Range Rover Sport, which is quite funny because his character from Ballers was often seen driving around in a white Range Rover Sport. Rumor has it, he actually owns a very, very similar a car. Again, perfect car in LA to kind of blend in, not be recognized too much. Although as soon as you look through the window and see a giant, you probably know that it is The Rock. And the guy's literally called The Rock. Seems like the nicest guy in the world, by the way. Unbelievably kind. On that note, we're going to talk about the fact that he likes giving away cars. He actually gave his stunt double an F-150 pickup truck as well, similar to his. Stunt double. He's been an incredible partner and brother to me. It's been an honor, Uso, and I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I love you. I thank you. And um, enjoy your new truck. No, no, man, what? What? <laughs> 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 And this is one of many people. We don't have footage or photos of most of the people to whom he's given cars, but apparently it's a real thing that he does. He has his own cars, but then loves and in fact buys more cars to give to people than he does for himself. A lovely man, absolutely splendid. That's maybe why he got given the Velociraptor. <laughs> I can't say Velociraptor without becoming a child. Plymouth Prowler, pretty random, I think fairly ugly car, which he's also been seen driving. A lot of people thought this was his car, but actually it was for a movie. And he was driving it around the set of the movie. Never actually owned it apparently, it was 
was a movie car. So not one part of his collection, but one we've seen him photographed in quite a bit. On the theme of giving cars away, so he gave the pickup truck to his stunt double. He then also gave away a Ford Mustang, a yellow Ford Mustang to US combat veteran Marlene Rodriguez to thank her for what she had done for his country. Incredibly classy move. And we need more people who are able and willing to do that. Here's a little clip. So I heard you're a Dodgers fan. Oh yeah. Okay, well maybe you can go to a Dodgers game in your brand new 2018 Mustang. Uh, <laughs> what kind of joke is this? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. What a lovely man he is. Rolls Royce Wraith. Now, the character played by The Rock in the series Ballers has been seen driving around quite a bit. A Rolls Royce. Actually, the cars they've got in that series are awesome. Apparently, The Rock liked that quite a bit, so he bought himself a Rolls Royce Wraith as well. Here's a photo of him looking pretty cool wearing sandals before getting onto his private jet coming out of his black Rolls Royce Wraith. He was in the series Ballers, and I think it describes him pretty well. I mean, sandals getting into your jet, that's pretty baller. He seems to enjoy kind of buying these cars that are in the series Ballers. So another one is the McLaren 650S. There's a photo of him posing in front of of this orange McLaren 650S. Rumor has it that once again, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, saw the car whilst they were filming. And obviously, you know, I don't think he ever actually drove it in the series, that specific car. I think it was other actors that were driving it. But when he saw it on set and ended up buying it, one of the few supercars he can probably fit in. Awesome car, twin turbocharged V8, 650 PS, as the name indicates. Awesome, awesome looking thing. McLaren, obviously, pros at making precision machines. Right, now we're getting onto some hefty stuff. Let's talk hypercars. First hypercar I want to talk about is the Pagani Huayra. Huayra. It's been years that car's been out. One of my favorites. Still can't say the name. As soon as I was talking to people about making this video, everyone was like, oh, he owns a Pagani. He has a Pagani. Technically not. There are loads of photos of him getting out of a Pagani. Pagani Huayra. However, it's not actually his car. So everyone thinks that he's got this Pagani and he's actually been photographed in front of two. So naturally, you'd assume, you know, someone with a bank account as large as his and who clearly quite likes cars could have gone for the Italian hypercar. But in fact, no, it was just a car that he showed up at the Bowler's premiere in. The car is actually owned by Prestige Imports, huge dealership in Miami. Awesome looking car, V12, twin turbocharged, motor produced by AMG, handmade, absolute stunner. Basically an art piece you can drive. But it is not owned by The Rock, sadly. Maybe because he couldn't quite get into it. He looks like he's struggling a little bit to get out of it in some of these photos. Sadly, this hypercar hasn't made its way into The Rock, Dwayne Johnson's garage, at least as far as we know, unless he's got one hidden in there. Worry not, because he does, we believe, still have a hypercar, a Ferrari LaFerrari, the $3 million top of the line car from the Italian maker with close to 1,000 horsepower, limited to 499 in the world. Although actually, technically, it was another one which was made for the Ferrari Museum, which is now there. So technically 500 were made. It's an absolute beast. They've shot up in value and he's got it in white. It's a coupe. It would have a little black accent if it was the Aperta version, which is the convertible of which they only made 150. Now, very expensive car, of course, the Rock could easily afford to buy this car. Reportedly, this was also a gift from the guys from Ballers. I mean, how successful was this TV show? If that is the case, it is so, so cool that they gifted him this Ferrari LaFerrari. Awesome car, proper connoisseur's piece, black interior on this one, looks stunning, looks tiny next to The Rock, actually. And reportedly, that was one of the issues. He couldn't fit in the car. So when it got delivered, apparently here outside his house, took a photo next to it, and we don't know if he actually sold it or still has it in his garage sitting there but doesn't drive it. Technically, there would be some sense to that because it is such an appreciating asset going up in value. But yeah, apparently gifted a Ferrari, LaFerrari, but hasn't yet been able to drive it. This is one of the weirder collections we've covered. That's the end of the list. So confirmed cars that he really drives around in, Velociraptor, F-150 pickup, and the Range Rover. The others are kind of rumors. We researched them. They seem to all be the way it is. There aren't many photos of him driving around in his McLaren or in his LaFerrari or anything like that. He seems to be fairly low key when it comes to supercars. I wish we had more footage of him giving away cars as well. It's so cool to see someone using their success to allow other people to benefit and enjoy it as well around him. So that is an awesome, awesome move from Dwayne Johnson. And he's got pretty good taste in cars. Obviously, I think he's fairly limited by his physique, his size. I know the feeling, seeing as we are twins.
Is that going to be the only joke I'm going to come up with? Might be. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. You are many asking for the Rock Collection. I'm excited to see who you come up with next. We've obviously made videos on other celebrities, such as Lewis Hamilton, Kylie Jenner, Gordon Ramsay. All of the videos are going to be on our channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, of course, and you don't want to miss any more of these types of videos, all you have to do is click the button down below and whack the notification bell on. I'll be seeing you again very soon. Please give this video a thumbs like. A thumbs like. <laughs> the good old thumbs like. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.